Kombucha has taken Australia by storm. The fizzy, fermented, slightly bitter drink has grown into a $200 million industry. David Richardson reports despite the touted health benefits, there are calls for tougher regulations and labelling amid claims some are nothing more than soft drink. A mystical brew from an ancient time, one of the oldest fermented drinks known to man. Kombucha, nicknamed the immortal health elixir, full of probiotics and good for the gut like yoghurt. But there are questions about some kombuchas on the market. I think of all the beverages, a fake kombucha would be easy to do. At the moment, anyone can come in and whack a label on anything and call it kombucha. There is zero standards around what the word actually means uh, in terms of labelling. They're not the real deal, but we don't have any legal or regulatory definition around what kombucha is. The kombucha industry has exploded in this country, the fastest selling drink, with a 174% increase in sales in just three years. Now a $200 million market, but despite that, there have been virtually no scientific studies here into that drink. Unless kombucha is made the proper way, and it's being fermented properly, you don't know whether those beneficial bacteria are there or not. An authentic kombucha should be 100% kombucha. It should be brewed from high quality tea. So we only use a really high quality white and green tea, which have high levels of antioxidants. Uh, it should be fermented for a few weeks to really give it that sort of um, acetic, uh, acetic acid vinegar base. Former AFL star and winemaker Trent Carroll and his wife Amanda are the founders of Rock Kombucha, based in the premier wine-growing district of the Margaret River, brewing certified organic flavoured drinks. But they've thrown a hand grenade at their own industry, calling for tougher laws and better labelling. The end consumer needs to know what they're getting, and if they're looking for a truly healthy uh, probiotic beverage full of bacteria and yeast and the real uh, vinegar base of acetic acid, they need to know that versus a kombucha that's, you know, maybe spat out a bit like a soft drink. What gives this drink its touted health benefits is SCOBY, or symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeasts. Praised as an antioxidant super drink with a slightly bitter, quirky taste, which is supposed to be great for gut health. But unlike yogurt, which also carries active gut bacteria, kombucha doesn't list the amount. We know that uh, fundamentally we've got uh, lots of the product that have, have been sold uh, that is completely inert and um, is really just another fizzy drink. West Australia's food minister believes it's time to get tough on kombucha. So we need to have a standard that says um, this is what you need to meet to be able to call yourself kombucha. The WA government is calling for Canberra to implement the standards rather than the states doing it piecemeal. And some nutritionists want more thorough scientific testing to ratify those health claims being made about the so-called super drink. There are these grey areas. It may have benefits, but it may not. We just don't know.